There are two towels, though, that I use all the time and that help me save bets and make bets where I wouldn't otherwise. The first towel involves unsophisticated players, people who are new to the game. They generally spend their time thinking about what their hand might be. They don't worry about what towels am I giving off? What does my betting say about my hand? They're trying to figure out, do I have a flush? What do I have? Against these players, their actions tend to be very readable, and they can tell you a lot about what they do have. There's one towel that unsophisticated players give off that's extremely reliable and can help you win extra pots or extra bets depending on what your hand is. The tell is, you bet on the flop, and they think considering a call, they might look at their hand, they might scratch their head, but it, they're clearly thinking about, should I call or not? Is my hand good enough? And then they do call. Well, that tell reliably means that they have a pretty weak hand. They got some weak draw, maybe backdoor draws, maybe ace high, they don't really know whether they're supposed to call or not, but they throw the money in because, hey, that's fun. So they call reluctantly, which means they have a pretty bad hand. But then on the turn, when you bet, they call almost immediately. That means that the turn card helped them. They were worried about their hand on the flop, they weren't sure, but now all of a sudden they're quite sure that they belong in the pot. That's because the turn card improved their hand. Might have given them a draw, a flush draw, a straight draw. Maybe it gave them a pair. You're not sure exactly how it improved their hand, but you can be quite sure that it did. And depending on what the card is in the board, you can deduce what their hand probably is. Here's one example. So one player limps to you and you raise on the button with pocket eights, eight a dime and eight a club. The big blind, who happens to be one of these inexperienced terrible players, calls, and so does the limper. The flop comes, king of spades, jack of clubs, five of diamonds. Not the best flop for pocket eights, but there's still a decent chance you have the best hand. Everybody checks to you and you bet, hoping everybody just folds and you can get this over with. The big blind picks up his hand, looks at it, looks at the board, picks up some chips, thinks about calling, and then finally tosses his money in. Remember, he's an inexperienced player, so this isn't likely to be an act. He's looking at his hand and he's trying to figure out what he has and if it's worth calling with. The limper folds. The turn is the three of diamonds, so that puts two diamonds on board, but it's an undercard to the board. The big blind checks, you bet, and now he calls immediately. This is the tell. He had a bad hand on the flop, he wasn't sure whether he should have called or not, but now he's quite sure. So the three of diamonds had to have helped his hand. How, you don't know exactly. Did he pick up a flush draw? Maybe he's got a diamond draw now. Maybe he's got a three. Ace three, eight three. He's an unsophisticated player, so he may not know he should have folded eight three a long time ago. Maybe he's got a more exotic hand, like a gut shot draw, ace deuce or ace four. You're not sure exactly what he has, but you could be very sure that the three of diamonds helped his hand. That is, he certainly doesn't have a flop pair, a king, a jack, or a five. He's either got a three if he's got a pair, or he's got some kind of draw, diamond draw or a gut shot. No matter what he has, you can be quite sure that your pocket eights are the best hand, and you can bet the river with confidence.